Hey, good morning. Good to see you again. Jim Sunderworth here. Boy, did I get excited about things yesterday, talking about light. Oh my goodness, I, I got to talk about my cave experiences and, and the light and the, the joy of having a light. And, and I tell you what, when I'd crawl out of that cave and take the, be able to turn that flashlight off, I walked into the kingdom of light, back into civilization. I was thankful, so thankful. Listen, I wanted to talk to you about it. Uh, of course, I'm Jim Sunderworth from my swing here in my home. And uh, that's, uh, that's for sure. But I, <laughs> I want to talk to you, though, one thing about um, Egypt. You see, one of their gods, was, one, of, one of their gods was the, a god called Ra, Ra, and that was the sun god. They worship the sun. The sun gave them light. The Nile gave them their sustenance and water and their food and stuff in the fields, and they worshipped all these. And so one of their gods was Ra, which was a sun god. Well, I'm telling you what, that's why a god, again, brought in darkness to the point where their sun god could not uh, help them because the sun god was blocked completely out because of the darkness, you see? And actually, uh, another thing I wanted to point out to you, the Pharaoh was um, considered a deity and he was considered the son, the son of the sun god. In other words, he he was considered a, 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 a god. And, and so, and he, and he worshiped the sun and he was the son of the sun in a sense. And then his, his son, was also deity so he was deity and they worshiped the sun and then that's why they would worship the pharaoh because he was deity because he was um, the son of the sun in a sense so that was a, an, an amazing thing to think that this god was was wiped out for three days and he was so devastated by it. He said, well, and he, and he recanted. He said, yes, you can go, you can go. Uh, give us our light back, give us our light back. And, uh, and uh, one more time, it was, it, you just cannot imagine someone relenting or being so, um, so caught up in, in themselves and, and so caught up. You see, God, the Supreme God, was dealing with a, a, a supreme ruler of the earth. He was sovereign of the earth, but God's sovereign of everything. He is everything, sovereign of all things. So here, this sovereign God's dealing with the sovereign of the earth, showing that, um, that that earth is basically a kingdom of darkness outside of a relationship with light and without the relationship with, with God. So they come into this the last the the last of the plagues and the, the last of the plagues uh, he he recanted and said you cannot go and he said he he told him he said you can go and take your families but don't take your cattle and he said no we have to take our cattle because we're gonna we're a part of our relationship with God is sacrifice and uh, you know a lot of times people said well take your families leave your business uh, and and mine is no no I'm, it's all all or nothing. God's everything, or He's nothing. If He's not everything, He is nothing. So that's that's what they said. We're going to go. Uh, with, we want to go with our families, with our business, with everything, our, our, our cattle. So anyway, so they they here we go into the last one. The death of the firstborn is announced, and the Lord said, "I will bring one more plague on Pharaoh, on Egypt." And He says, "And then after this, He will let you will let my people go." I, I ask. He said. Pharaoh asked him back, back in uh, chapter 10, he said, Get away from me, take heed to yourself, and see my face no more. For in the day, uh, he, he was angry at him, said, You can't go. But he said, I'm not going to look at you anymore. And I, you're not going to see my face anymore because I'm done with these plagues. You're, uh, you're, you're not going. I'm keeping these people here. You're not getting out of here. And he said, Well, and Moses said, You have spoken well. He said, Because remember what Pharaoh said, Get away from me. You'll not see my face again. You're, I'm not going to give you audience anymore. And Moses said, He spoke well. He said, I will never see your face again. It's true, and it was true, because the next plague that came, for I will bring one more plague on Pharaoh and on Egypt, and after he and after this he will let us go. So, what was that last plague? The last plague was the death of the firstborn. Whew, that's tough. You think about that. That's tough. Now remember, he had a chance way back in uh, uh, Exodus 4:22. He said, I'm, "This is what I'm going to do, and you don't have. To, if you'll just let the people go, I won't. I won't mess with your son." But he said, "If you mess with my son, remember, he said Egypt's my son. I'm going to have to mess with your son." And here's the thing: you got to realize that because Pharaoh was deity, considered deity, his son was considered deity. Well, 
all this time God was dealing with all these other gods and was just exposing them as not being gods but now now God is dealing with Pharaoh's God because he was considered God and the, uh, the children of Israel uh, the children of Egypt excuse me recognize the fact that the God of Moses has now destroyed and killed a God of Egypt he didn't just expose them as not being gods their weakness he killed them that was a major major thing Ooh. I tell you what it's an amazing thing to realize that something that we serve has no power whatsoever in our lives in the long run well tomorrow we're going to get into uh, the joy of our salvation I'll see you tomorrow bye bye